Why are the intros to videos always like the hardest bit? Well, welcome back guys. We are building a gun shop inside of an old school bus. So before I make a very inappropriate joke about guns and schools, let's just move on and actually get building. In this build, I wanted to use a shipping container, which we'll get to later on. So instead of having it to the side or somewhere else, I put it underneath so I could place the bus on top. Yes, it looks very unstable at the moment, but don't worry, we'll get to the supports in a bit. And just a heads up guys, I am still pretty ill, so if I sound a bit rough, that's why. Next, I added a small crate and some stairs to get up to the bus, which I ended up deleting, because this pickup truck looked way cooler. I also added the less fancy wooden shack stairs, because it just looked more in place and more right for the build. The transition between the truck and the bus wasn't that smooth, so I ended up adding the small stairs in between, which worked like a charm. Next, I started working on support. I add these roof boards to the bottom of the steps because I find it makes the connection between the stairs and the floor a lot more cleaner and it also adds a little bit more detail to your builds. Continuing to support the truck up, I added a shack foundation and walled off the side before placing sandbags and tires around it. This is a really good tip when building. Using things like sandbags or tires or even that board on the stairs helps not just to add detail to your builds, but it also smooths out the transitions between the ground and the structure. I added a few more details like a guardrail and a gravel wall. Customers aren't allowed to actually enter the bus, they will get served through the window on the side of the bus, so I added a platform and stairs leading up. The stairs were pretty long so they just disappeared into the floor which for some people could work but for me I added some sandbags and some tyres which I find looks a lot better. I used some wooden rails from the snap and build mod to rail off my platform. Remember guys if you want any of the mods links are down in the description for them so you can check them out there. I also came across these cool stair railings in the snap and build mod that I didn't even know about so I added them to the side of my stairs. The connection between the truck roof and the platform looked really bad so I used a guard rail to hide it and because it's rusty like the rest of the materials it blended pretty well. For the rest of the bus's foundations I used junk fences and again using tyres and sandbags to just bring it all together. I added a small roof above the doorway and this big ugly ass looking roof above where the shop is going to be. Now I end up deleting anyway so don't even worry about it. At first I was going to wall off the other side of the container with junk fences. But after doing it I noticed you could no longer see the container underneath. Even though we knew it was there I wanted it to be on show. So I ended up changing out the junk fences for chain link fences instead. The main structure was completed so I stepped back and had a look around making sure I was happy with the way it was looking. Apart from that horrible roof that I deleted, I was pretty happy. So I placed the vendor at the window, making sure I lined up the supports with the window frame so it didn't look too out of place. Moving inside, I placed a line of greenhouse tables, making sure they didn't clip outside the bus. The legs did a little bit at the back, but you couldn't really see it, so I was okay with it and just moved on. I placed the cabinet on the other side of the bus was going to be a work area where armour and weapons are constructed. While I was in the containers menu I ended up placing a load of containers on the greenhouse tables. I added some lockers to the mix and then placed another vendor to separate the two halves of the bus. These were all the main pieces of furniture inside the bus so I ended up just going on a mad one and placed loads of clutter everywhere. Oh yes, and remember that shipping container underneath I said I was going to get to? Well that's going to be the main storage area, so I ended up placing a load of containers before moving on and adding the final touches. This massive billboard sign, I just got to be honest right here, I placed it and I wasn't really happy with it and I was going to move it and delete it, but I couldn't click on it at all, so I ended up just going fuck it and moving on. I love these little groups of posters. They really help when you have a massive blank surface 
and you want to break up and add a little bit more detail to, you just slap some of these on and bam, less boring wall. I needed to block this one window and I came across this sign which was gun related but most of all it was yellow and black so it blended in with everything else going on around it. To finish this build off I added some lights and power and voila we're done. I hope you've been enjoying this series so far, this is the last main shop we're going to build at this settlement, but I have got another video coming soon, it is basically going to be the finishing touches and I'm also going to add some smaller shops and some other shops, but I'm going to do it more fast paced, so you don't have to sit through watching the kind of same old stuff being done, because I really want to move on to the next settlement, which is going to be Red Rocket. And don't worry guys, I am going to do another video after the next one, which is basically going to be a walk around this settlement and we're going to have a look at all the things we've built and kind of have a little bit of recap because I have made some little changes throughout the building process as well. I've kind of mentioned them and some of them I haven't, so I'll show you them as well. And that's it guys, in the next episode we're going to be doing some finishing touches. And if you liked the video, please hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching.